We've all been there, long hours at the desk, feeling the strain in our eyes and the tension in our necks, hunched over a screen, squinting at tiny text, trying to make sense of the information in front of us. Our hand cramped around a mouse, fingers aching from repetitive clicking and scrolling. That's bad ergonomics in action, poor posture, uncomfortable seating, and awkward hand positions all contribute to this discomfort. Good ergonomic design is all about making things comfortable and easy to use. It's about creating an environment where our bodies can work efficiently without strain. When we talk about displays and controls, ergonomics is crucial. The height of your monitor, the position of your keyboard and the type of chair you use all play a role. Why? Because it directly impacts our comfort, efficiency and even our health. A well-designed workspace can prevent chronic pain and fatigue. That's the difference good ergonomics can make. A well-thought-out setup can transform your work experience, making it more pleasant and productive. By designing displays and controls with the user in mind, we can prevent discomfort, boost productivity and create a more enjoyable experience. It's about thinking ahead and making small changes that have a big impact. Whether it's a smartphone, a car dashboard or a complex industrial control panel, Ergonomic design is essential. It ensures that we can interact with technology in a way that feels natural and intuitive. And trust me, when it comes to technology, a little comfort can go a long way. Investing in ergonomic design is investing in your well-being and productivity. Before we dive into the specifics of design, let's talk about what we mean by display devices. In simple terms, these are the tools that visually communicate information to us. Think about the screen on your phone, the speedometer in your car, or even the humble traffic light. They all fall under the umbrella of display devices. These devices come in all shapes and sizes, from tiny LEDs to massive video walls. They use various technologies to present information, from simple text and symbols to complex graphics and animations. But no matter their form or function, all display devices share a common goal to effectively convey information to the user, and that's where ergonomics comes in. A well-designed display isn't just about presenting information, it's about presenting it in a way that's clear, concise and easy to understand. It's about minimising strain, reducing errors and ensuring that the user can access and process information effortlessly. Now. Let's break down display devices into three main types. These are quantitative, qualitative and check reading displays. Each type serves a specific purpose and requires a unique approach to ergonomic design. Let's start with quantitative displays. Quantitative displays are designed to show precise numerical values. These are the types of displays where accuracy is paramount. Think of your car's speedometer or a digital thermometer. These devices provide exact measurements that are crucial for making informed decisions. For these displays, clear fonts, appropriate scaling and proper illumination are crucial for easy reading. The numbers must be easily distinguishable to avoid any misinterpretation. Next, we have qualitative displays. These displays show the approximate status or condition of something rather than exact numbers. Imagine the fuel gauge in your car or the battery indicator on your phone. These displays give you a general sense of a variable without needing precise numbers. They provide a general sense of a variable without needing precise numbers. This is useful for quick assessments where exact values are not necessary. Clear visual cues like color gradients or simple icons are essential for effective communication. These cues help users quickly understand the status or condition being displayed. Finally, we have check reading displays. These displays are used for quick checks or comparisons. Think about the warning lights on your car's dashboard or the status indicators on a control panel. These displays are designed to grab your attention immediately. They rely on easily recognizable symbols or colors to convey critical information at a glance. This is crucial in situations where quick action is required. Understanding these different display types is essential for applying ergonomic principles effectively. Each type of display has its own set of design considerations that must be taken into account. The design considerations for a precise numerical display will differ from those for a simple warning light. For example, a numerical display might require more attention to detail in terms of font size and clarity. By tailoring the design to the specific type of information being displayed, we can create interfaces that are both informative and user-friendly. 
This ensures that users can easily understand and interact with the information being presented, leading to better decision-making and overall user experience. In summary, whether it's a quantitative, qualitative or check-reading display, the key is to design with the user's needs in mind. By doing so, we can create effective and efficient display systems that enhance usability and performance. So next time you look at a display, think about the thought and design that went into making it easy to read and understand. Each type of display plays a crucial role in our daily lives, helping us navigate and make sense of the world around us. And remember, good design is not just about aesthetics, it's about functionality and making information accessible to everyone. We hope you now have a better understanding of the different types of display instruments and their importance in our daily lives. Designing ergonomic displays, key considerations. When, when designing any display, several key factors contribute to good ergonomics. These factors are essential to ensure that the user can interact with the display comfortably and efficiently. These considerations ensure that the information is presented in a way that is both easily accessible and comfortable for the user. A well-designed display can significantly enhance user experience and productivity. First and foremost, the display needs to be easily visible. Visibility is crucial because if the user cannot see the information clearly, it defeats the purpose of the display. This means considering the size and contrast of the characters. Larger text and high contrast can make a significant difference, especially for users with visual impairments. The brightness and clarity of the display are also important. A bright and clear display can reduce eye strain and make it easier for users to focus on the information presented. Additionally, the impact of ambient lighting conditions should not be overlooked. Glare from windows or overhead lights can make it difficult to see the screen, so it's important to consider the environment in which the display will be used. It's not enough for the information to be visible, it needs to be easily readable as well. Clear fonts are essential for readability. Fonts that are too fancy or too small can be difficult to read. Appropriate spacing between characters and lines is also crucial. Crowded text can be overwhelming and hard to read, while well-spaced text can make the information more digestible. Logical information grouping contributes to improved readability. Grouping related information together helps users find what they need quickly and easily. The physical placement of the display significantly impacts its usability. A display that is too high or too low can cause neck strain and discomfort. The display should be positioned within the user's natural line of sight. This minimizes the need for awkward head movements or body contortions, which can lead to discomfort and long-term health issues. Minimizing the need for awkward head movements or body contortions is essential for maintaining good posture and preventing strain. An ergonomic setup can make a big difference in user comfort. Avoid overwhelming the user with too much information. An uncluttered display helps users focus on the most important information without getting distracted by unnecessary details. Prioritize essential information and use clear, concise language or symbols. This helps users quickly understand the information without having to sift through extraneous details. By carefully considering these factors, we can design displays that are not only visually appealing, but also highly functional and user-friendly. A well-designed display can enhance user satisfaction and efficiency. Remember, the goal is to present information in a way that is easily digestible and minimizes the cognitive load on the user. A user-friendly display can make a significant difference in how effectively information is communicated and understood. The crucial role of controlling devices. Now, let's talk about the other half of the equation controlling devices. These are the tools we use to interact with machines and systems. From the humble light switch to the complex joystick in an airplane, Controlling devices are how we communicate our intentions and make things happen. Just like with displays, good ergonomics is crucial when designing controlling devices. An uncomfortable or poorly designed control can lead to fatigue, errors and even injury. Imagine trying to operate a heavy machine with a tiny fiddly button or picture a touch screen that's unresponsive and frustrating to use. Effective control design is about creating devices that feel intuitive and natural to use. It's about matching the physical characteristics of the control to the task at hand, considering the force required, 
the precision needed and the feedback provided to the user. Factors for selection of controlling devices. When selecting controlling devices, several factors must be taken into account to ensure optimal performance and user experience. First, consider the different tasks require different kinds of controls, such as buttons, levers, touch screens, or joysticks. Each type has its own set of advantages and disadvantages depending on the application, fit to the functions. The controls should be so selected as to fit the functions and anatomy of limbs. Second, think about easy grasping or gripping. Hand-operated controls must be placed within easy grasping distances between elbow and shoulder height and be clearly visible. The device should be easy to use over extended periods without causing strain or discomfort. This includes the size, shape and texture of the control, as well as its placement and orientation. Third is key. Anatomic considerations. Distances between the controls must match anatomic considerations. A good controlling device should provide immediate feedback to the user's actions, whether it's a visual cue, an audible signal or a tactile response. This helps users understand that their input has been registered and executed. Fourth, consider the in which the device will be used. For instance, a control used in a factory setting might need to be robust and resistant to dust and moisture, while one used in an office might prioritize aesthetics and ease of use. Lastly is paramount. Need low energy. For operations needing low energy, expenditure and step or continuous adjustments for high precision can be suitably done by manually operated push buttons, toggle switches, knobs. The device should minimize the risk of accidental activation or misuse, especially in critical applications like medical equipment or industrial machinery. By carefully evaluating these factors, designers can select controlling devices that not only meet functional requirements but also enhance the overall user experience ensuring efficiency, safety, and satisfaction.